So on the drive here, we're gonna use the rock. We're gonna start at the top of plus 15 with uh, our uh, rock nine. If we do have rock eight, we start at max. Four top spin and half a bar of side spin to the right. You can play this shot with any win three or win four ball. It doesn't have to be a power three either. It can be a power four or a power five. You only need side spin one uh, through it all, which is also very important. So you can use a lot of different golf balls on this one here. Adjustment is max plus 10 P3. And then we're going to try to hit perfect. A great left will put us further away from T. So make sure to try, if you're going to hit any great, a great right is going to be better than a great left. The great left will still have room because we do have more or less a crosswind on the second shot, but it's still going to be on the very edge with a power three ball. Power four, power five won't have that issue. We're looking to get to around 340 yards, very consistent drive. For the second shot, we're going to use our B-52. Have in mind that you can use the B-52 all the way down to level 4, so it doesn't have to be a B-52 level 8. The reason we go with the B-52 over the Grizzly is for the more power. <clears throat> so, what we are looking for here is to do a fringe check, and the fringe check here is plus 6, which is perfect because that's our base. No spin whatsoever, inner ring by the rough line. It may look scary, but as we do have a slight headwind, we will not miss the rough. What to see here is that you do have a headwind angle or like more headwind than what you have crosswind. So here we're going to have two clicks of right curl as a wind angle tweak. If you have more crosswind, then you won't need any tweaks whatsoever. Obviously, everything like this will be listed in the guide and also in the telegram shot. Bounces into the rough nicely and it rolls dead center for a lovely eagle here on hole and number four. Get the guide on patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy.